A very good morning to all. Continuing to our learning for blockchain, we have already seen that how we can experiment with Remix. Then, using Remix, we used MetaMask and we used a RingB ID. But I am receiving continuous requests that now RingB ID, the RingB test ether are not available. As we all know that Ethereum has shifted from proof of work to proof of stake. So it has depreciated proof of work and the RingB test ether network does not supported by the Ethereum network. So we are facing issues with test ethers. To solve these issues of test ethers, we can use Truffle and Ganache. There are already videos in the course which shows about Truffle and Ganache using Ubuntu machine. Then again, we are receiving requests that using Ubuntu, the Truffle init command, the Truffle config command, Truffle migrate command is not feasible for those, those who are using Microsoft Windows. So for those of you who are using Microsoft Windows, this video is for you all. Over here, we'll be seeing that how you can use Truffle and Ganache using VS Code, that is Visual Studio Code. So let's start with the VS Code. Over here in the screen, you can see the Visual Studio Code. So to begin with, how to start with the VS Code, you will install the Visual Studio Code. The first thing is you will install the Visual Studio Code. That's the Visual Studio. You must be familiar with VS Code, but I'll just tell you certain things. This is the Explorer, which shows the projects. Then this is for search. This is for source control. This is for run and debug, and this is for extensions. So after installing the VS Code, you will go to extensions. And in extensions, you will search for Truffle. So you will get this extension Truffle for VS Code. In my system, it is already installed. So it shows an option of uninstall. But for you, if you will be using it for first time, so you will get an option for install. So you will install Truffle in your system. And remember, that you ha also have to install Ganache. So Ganache, as we have already seen in the previous videos, you can download it from Ganache website for your system. And Ganache is also there for you in the VS Code. So you can also use Ganache from the VS Code by using Truffle for VS Code. After getting Truffle for VS Code and getting your Ganache and making your Ganache to start, just go back to Explorer, click on the workspace, go on the show and run commands that is control shift P. When you go on control and shift commands, that is control shift P, you will get this things truffle written over here. If it is not found, just type truffle, it will come. After installing truffle in your VS code as an extension, you will get truffle. So to begin with, what you have to do is choose Truffle New Solidity Project. Choose Truffle New Solidity Project. When you choose a Truffle New Solidity Project, it asks for you that you want to create an empty project, you want to create a sample project, or you want to create a project from already Truffle Box. So first of all, you will choose and create empty project. So this create empty project is same as what you were doing with truffle in it. It is same thing as you did with truffle in it. So what you will do is before we click on this truffle empty project, you do one thing, you just create a folder, whatever you want to create a folder in your system, wherever you want to create. So I'm creating a folder in my desktop with the name of block. I've created a folder in block. I again come back to this create empty project. Remember, we are taking this create empty project. This is same thing as we did with truffle in it. And then it asks that which folder. So we just now created a folder by name of block and we select this new project path. So it is creating a project. 
So it creates a project block. Now, when we see on our desktop the folder which we created block, we created the folder just in front of you. It should have been empty, but when we used it in truffle in it, like truffle in it, when we click it, you can see that it gives the same three folders contracts, migrations, test, and the truffle config.js, which we used to get by using truffle in it. So, how simple it has become from VS Code by using this simple thing that is run command from show and run commands and truffle new solidity project by just doing this thing and creating an empty project we are able to create this now in the similar way we as we did with linux as we did with ubuntu machine in this contracts we require a project in this contracts we require a project so let's create a file over here or we can copy paste over there also and we let's give it a, a name one dot solve and we need to copy paste one solidity program over here so let's copy paste the solidity program from our folder let's see one program from here it will say open and this program gets copy pasted over here and we instead of typing up sorry this is some mistake in copying we we'll again copy control a control c I hope it is copied this time and we yes so this is copied this time now this is being copied in the vs code now see in vs code a warning sign comes if we do not use this comment so we have always we have to always put this comment line spdx line as identifier otherwise it will give a warning sign though the program will run so you have to put these lines in comment in vs code remember this thing then pragma solidity my contract my value so this is a small program which is setting a value in a variable and then returning that value from the variable a small contract so we have done this thing now as in truffle in it we used to if you remember that we used to have a migration file so same we have to do it over here also so what we do is we go back to a file called migration and we copy this file migration we can do it from vs code also or we can do by windows also and we copy this migration files into our folder that is one dot deploy so we get this migration file over here let's see it comes over here one dot deploy and in this we know that we need to do only one change that is we need to change the name of the contract so luckily the name of the contract is same because i have copied the same contract that is my contract so we need not do any change over here and this is the my contract file so we have done with the changes in the migrations file we did this thing when we were studying truffle using linux the same thing we have to do with vs code now the truffle config so this truffle config file also you know that it has to be replaced with the configuration file so let takes the configuration file again from the folder which we are already using so we take this truffle config file we copy it from this side and we paste it in this yes so we have changed the truffle config file all of us know that the default port for ganache for ethereum is 7545 the network id we know the network id is 5518 but instead of putting a particular network id it can change any network id the default network id the star is used the host is 127001 the port from which it is here so we have taken this truffle config over here let's start ganache also so there are different ways you can start ganache from truffle also you can start from the app also so let's start ganache also over here so let this wait in the meantime the ganache begins and close rest of the things we can close yes so we have already seen ganache in the previous videos when we studied truffle
So this ganache, let me see what is happening with ganache, yes, quick start ethereum and now the ganache is going to start. We have already shared the entire screen, so I am sure that this ganache screen must be visible to you and this shows that the port is 7545. Our PC address 127001 and the 10 addresses, no transactions being done up till now, all transactions counts coming to zero. So we minimize this ganache over here and we come back to our VS code. So we go back to the VS code. Yes, this is our VS code. Now config file set deploy set and the contract set things become so simple and again control shift p we have opened a project we have put the solidity file what we have to do now is simply truffle build contracts this truffle build contracts is building the contracts like truffle compile we used to do npx truffle compile in the same way it has executed for us and like truffle compile configs.org you can see the command which has been run this is a command which has been run at the background by this gui of vs code and it says that compiled successfully finished running compiled. so now it has compiled the code after compiling the code you can see in the folder block that this build folder has come now because we have compiled the code this build folder has come the contract and this contract has been built now we have compiled the code now again we return back we have compiled the code like we used to compile from truffle this then truffle migrations and all over here we did not write to write truffle migrations dash 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 we just deploy truffle deploy contracts and it asks that from where you wish to deploy you want to deploy from truffle dashboard for a local development board or from truffle config so we say that deploy from truffle config you see that it is deploying contracts deployment takes certain time and very soon the contracts are deployed now it shows you the output that the contracts has been deployed compiling the contracts it was already compiled now it has been deployed the network name is development network id 5777 we all know the network id for ganache the block gas limit it has been deployed deploying contracts execute commands after deploying we get this address that this is the address of the contract which has been deployed first block has been created timestamp this is the account which has been taken into the picture from ganache and these many ethers are the balance the gas used is this the gas price the value the total gas cost and we get this thing as a output even if we go back to ganache so you can see that now the transaction count has become one because one transaction has taken place and this is what you can see is the address of the which have been used and if we go to events it shows no events no con because we have not linked any it shows this transactions so this transaction has already taken place because we deployed the contract and this is the gas used this is the value because we have not passed any value and this is the address of the contract so when we are using ganache we can use it this thing and that has been used for contract creation now if we put certain value if we give certain value it will also show those transactions so now in the next video what we will do is we will make a gui a small gui for this contract and we will see that how from vs code we can interact with this contract so the beauty of using this thing is that we can learn about vs code we can see that how visual studio can 
use truffle how ganache can be used and how easy it becomes without writing the commands so keep on watching and learning and in the next video we will see that how we can interact with the front end thank you